Arctic Greetings from Texas. I'm gonna make a hiking stick. Um, I just made one for my girlfriend, this one here. Um, this is a $40 store-bought one. It's got a little rubber tip on it. And uh, I've been cutting brush, so um, this was a piece of Texas cedar. So all I did was took a knife, scraped off the bark, and left some of the inner bark And um, 60 grit paper, sandpaper, 120 grit, and then some lacquer. Drilled a hole for a lanyard. And I put, um, I trimmed this down so this foot would fit on it. These come four to a pack at uh, Ace Hardware. So I grabbed another piece of wood. I'm not sure what kind of wood this is. Because I, like I said, I've been cutting brush. And um, all I did is I started... by taking this loose bark off, okay? And now I'm using this rasp or cuneiform file, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, now I'm just going off and I'm just smoothing this out. And I'm looking, um, this has a lot of imperfections, which is what I'm looking for. Okay that natural kind of coloration. You can see this, that's, that's just from sanding and then um, some lacquer. So follow me along and I'll show you the different steps. So again, right now, this is the original bark. This is after I just took a knife and scraped the loose bark off. And this is, I'm smoothing it out with this rasp. Okay, see those scars, but those will look cool when this dude's done. All right, so keep watching. Okay, there I'm done rasping it. All right, this is asked after I've rasps, rasped it. Um, my phone went into slow-mo mode. Okay, so now it's uh, 60 grit sandpaper and 120 grit. And I'll show you that when it's done. Okay, I sanded this dude down. Uh, I just did 60 grit paper. And um, so I didn't, I'm not going to bother showing you that. Just sanding it till you get it as smooth as you want. And uh, now I'm just using a uh, clear lacquer. All right, so this is what we're looking at. And let's spray it with some lacquer here. And uh, look at that color that it's bringing out. Okay, so let me finish lacquering. Get first coat on, I usually do at least three coats. And we'll see how she looks. And I was just using this uh, water bottle. I'm gonna trim some off that end um, in preparation for the tip. Anyway, when you're lacquering or varnishing, just same thing with painting. A lot of little light coats are better than thick, heavy coats. And I'm not going to steal wool this. I mean, it's a hiking stick, not a piece of furniture. Okay. I'll bring you back in a few days when it's done being lacquered. Okay, so um, what I've done here is I've marked off, um, just drew a line and colored it in around the tip that I'm putting on the rubber tip. after evening that off. And then I set my blade at about a quarter inch. So I'm gonna work my way down there, just repeatedly running that across, kind of like a router. And um, I'll show you that in a second. So I'm gonna have to put this down. Don't take off too much material you actually want your rubber tip to fit very snug on the end. Okay, here we are. I got it rough cut, so I'm going to um, file it down, get it round, and then glue the tip on. Okay, so I got it down where I want it, so I'm going to put this dude on here. Okay, and I gotta twist that on a little better and then I'm gonna glue it on. 
with Gorilla Glue. Okay, I got it twisted on a little bit better and now I'm gonna glue it. Okay, I got the Gorilla Glue on every exposed surface and I'm gonna twist the tip on. All right, the tip is on, so I'll let that uh, do dry and now it's time to drill the hole for the lanyard. All right, so for my lanyard hold, um, I'm grabbing a stick where I want it, want it to be, but I want my uh, arm at a 90 degree angle when I'm at rest. So I'm gonna drill the hole slightly underneath uh, my wrist. Okay, there's the hole. And I'm just using a boot lace for a lanyard. Let me go get that and put that on. So I'm just kind of doing it one-handed here. So I'm gonna make an overhand knot and then I will uh, melt the end of that shoelace with a Bic lighter. Okay, so there's my knot, just a simple overhand knot. All right, so I'm just taking this lighter, heating that up, and I just use a pair of pliers. And hopefully that won't fray. All right, there you go, folks. That's a simple walking stick. Anybody can do it. There's more than one way to skin a cat, depending on what tools you have available. And I appreciate you watching, and I hope I inspire you to make your own hiking stick.